What's up everyone? So we are currently on our way to the Miller Kite House in Elkton, Virginia. Uh, we're doing an investigation there tonight. Uh, we actually investigated it a couple years ago back in 2014 and we're going back for the first time since then. Um, just to give you a little history of the place, it was built in 1827 and the only real history that we can really find on the place is that uh, in 1862 Stonewall Jackson stayed there. Uh, while he was devising his famous Shenandoah Valley campaign and uh, that's pretty much it. He stayed there for a little bit uh, but that's really the only history we can really find on the place even on like yeah. historical websites but Hard to find. yeah it is but some of the paranormal stuff that we've experienced there has been uh, pretty interesting um, the, the first time that we went there uh, we had a um, the, there's an alarm system that's uh, connected to the all the doors, I guess, and I, I think the windows. I'm not yeah. sure, but um, the alarm system actually, we heard it in the middle of the night. Actually, you might remember that yeah, part I did. better. But uh, in addition to that, we had the, actually the front door. We didn't see it, but we played the audio recorder that we had near the front door back later, and we actually heard the sound of the door. Uh, locking and unlocking by itself. Yeah, and it wasn't too long after I think that the door, the, the actual alarm went off, like someone had opened the front door. Yeah, 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 it was right around the same time, so it's a very weird uh, coincidence that that would have happened. Yeah. And you, the skeptics out there, you could say like, well, you know, somebody could have, you know, opened the door while we were there. The problem is, we had the door locked, so it, they, the person that did that would have had to have had the key. So, I mean, yeah, and we I remember we checked to make sure like no one was outside messing with yeah, us yeah. and there was no one out there mm -hmm. And then um, we also heard a couple of uh, Very they were very faint, but definitely there um, like male whispers on the staircase um, yeah. when We were near the top floor And uh, other than that, I think those were the main experiences uh, a lot of the experiences that have been reported there though are um, by other teams people smell uh, cigars a lot there like cigar smoke and uh, roses people have smelled both of those um, pretty frequently uh, we haven't experienced that but um, there's also been uh, I think there's a shadow there's like a shadow of a of a man who looks like he's wearing a hat or something but it's in a uh, one of the rooms on the second floor, I think, and he supposedly one of the, a group that was there saw him walk by, saw this figure walk by the window. We're finally here, back at the Miller Kite Museum House. I think it's the house I've heard museum. Miller Kite House and Museum. House Museum, whatever. whatever. Yeah. So we're gonna give you guys a quick tour, real fast, of the place, uh, and just kind of tell you about mm -hmm. uh, everything. We started here. Yeah, this is actually just the kitchen. I think this is an addition yeah. to the building. I don't know. This definitely wasn't built in 1827. No. <laughs> I don't think this refrigerator was here. So. Maybe. Yeah. No. It could have been. <laughs> uh, but that's pretty much everything in here. We got all of our gear here. Uh, yeah. We got some gear set up on the table. Do you want to show that? Oh, yeah. So here's some of our equipment. Uh, trying to see. If you've watched uh, the other videos, you've probably seen this before. This is a mel meter. Uh, pretty much detects the temperature in the area. Um, as well as the electromagnetic fields. Uh, we have a spirit box, which pretty much is a modified radio that scans through AM and FM frequencies really fast. Hopefully it has batteries. <laughs> yeah, hopefully. <laughs> it should have. Then uh, you just have a K2 meter. Uh, it pretty much uh, detects... Same thing as the Mel meter, it's just a different um, visual to it. Yeah. Just the lights light up. Uh, and then we just have, you know, regular uh, digital recorders. Yeah. Uh, I always mess this thing up. The geophone. Geophone. I always call this, it. This like um, detects vibrations, and it's it's similar on a smaller scale to what seismo uh, seismologists use, actually, to measure earthquakes. But obviously this isn't as sophisticated, <laughs> but it basically lights up. Now, obviously, I'm holding it, so it's going to be different, but... When you tap it, it'll light up more. Yeah, so we usually put those it on like staircases yeah. and down hallways. Uh, and then we have the REM pod, which mm -hmm. is a uh, 
This antenna right here uh, emits an electromagnetic field that anytime something comes pretty close to it, this happens. It, it actually picks up. up the direction too, sometimes, of which way the field's coming from. But it, as you notice, going around it right now, it's not really going off. You have to be really pretty close. And there's there. actually a specific sound when you touch it. So, yeah, hopefully we get something on that. <laughs> it's unlocked. Um, and then over in this room, uh, this has some like really old artifacts in here, including this jacket that was, I don't know if you can really pick up on it. Uh, is that the jacket? Yeah, that, that's the jacket. A 16, wasn't he 16 or was he younger? Uh, a 16, a kid that was like, I think it was like 16 or younger. He actually was killed. Yeah, in the battle of Chancellor, wow, Chancellor. Chancellorville, oh, yeah. It's right up by me. Mm -hmm. And he was actually killed. Casey was telling us he was last time we were here. He was actually killed in that jacket, in that jacket. And um, I think there's actually. Didn't he say there was a bullet hole somewhere in here? Something like that. Somewhere on the jacket, there's actually. You can actually see like a bullet. Um, where a bullet would have gone through it. Who knows? That could have been a bullet. The bullet that killed him. And then it's just mainly like artifacts. Yeah. Uh, throughout the rest of this music in here. Mm -hmm. There's. Isn't that the room where you got? Uh, it, the back. That's what I think. I, I still to this day I don't know if that's what it was or not, but right, let's head up to the second floor. This is a grand, creepy grandfather clock. Oh I know. I think it's old. Um, so we'll start in this room. This is actually the room we're about to head into was the room Stonewall Jackson stayed in while he was here. Oh that thing is really sensitive. There we go. Uh, so this is the room he stayed in. Uh, I don't know how original any of this furniture is. Yeah, um, I'm not entirely sure. Oh, and here's another creepy painting for you guys. <laughs> oh, the light is like right on it. Oh, it's alright. It actually might be better with just that little yeah. candle light. That's creepy. Oh. That's him right there, right? Yeah. Is that I have the, yeah, the sure. light. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, you can't see anything when you point it out there. No. But yeah, this is, where he, this is where he stayed. Yeah. Uh, and this is another room back in here that... I don't this isn't original to this place because uh, it says it's still new. Oh, is it? Yeah. Softwood. There's a tag on it. Oh wow, holy shit. What? It says 1820. Wow. It doesn't really look that Never comfortable. Mind, this actually was. <laughs> it says this bed originally belonged to William Kite the second, father of Captain H. A. Kite. What is this? This is cool. What? Where is that? John B. Something. Uh, I'm not sure what that is. See? Oh, that's. Yeah, that weird barrel. It's almost like a part of a card case. <laughs> I don't think it is, though. Dude, I swear, there's one of these at every museum. Oh, oh God, yeah. Isn't there? Every <laughs> single museum. There's at least one or two. <laughs> yeah. It really is. Now I remember why we also didn't investigate much in there. Um, trying to think. Out here, there's... There's a creepy-ass painting in here. Did you see this? No. Yeah. I'm always down for creepy-ass paintings. Looks like, it? yeah, try moving the flashlight a little bit away from it. Oh. Yeah, there we wow. go. Like Father Time right there. <laughs> yeah, the Sandman. <laughs> <laughs> that was just a lot of, this place has a lot of creepy paintings. Creepy stuff, yeah. um, but out here is just the landing up to go to the attic. Uh, those are snake skins that he finds up in the attic. Uh, it's pretty creepy. I don't mind snakes. In other words, sure. going to the attic doesn't seem really that fun. No, <laughs> not at all. You see all that. Uh, there's this thing that's, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a good angle, but. Let's see. Oh, God, it's creepy. Yeah, <laughs> the stands. <laughs>
That's creepy. Oh man. He just stands Ooh. in the in the window and just it's kind of creepy. Drive up here, it's creepy because you think somebody's standing there. Yeah. Uh. I don't really oh, know. Let me see. Can you see it? Oh yeah. It looks like they have corn rolls. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. It's like, yeah. <laughs> oh god. Um. Oh, that's a creepy doll. You took them all the way. Yeah, you're right. I, I don't like dolls. From all the way to 1979 like to actually register this place. I don't know if you guys can see. Yeah. Mm. I hate dolls. Yeah. With a passion. You definitely have that. Uh, but, that's it. I mean, do you, we, I guess we'd go up to the attic. Wow, that's a really steep step. Yeah, they all are. I don't even know if I want to go up there. <laughs> it's not like we're talking about little garter snakes. Yeah, these are pretty <laughs> big. Uh... Yeah, <laughs> Watch out for something. It slides open. It doesn't. Yeah, you can't really see probably when you stand there. Yeah, maybe, so maybe not spend time in the attic. Oh, it's creepy up here, dude. That does not feel good. Here, if you want to take this, I'll yeah. show them. I'm going to take you on a tour. Ooh. Okay. I right, what you can see up here. There we go. That's a perfect shot. All right. Yeah. It's pretty creepy back here. I'll show you the other yeah. side. Sorry, I haven't had time to practice with this camera. I know. It's <laughs> taking me a little bit to get used to that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get out of this little crevice. You can go up here if you want. Uh, no. <laughs> no, you're good. Here. Okay, let me show, show, see if I can get a good angle of like, yeah. Isn't that just Doors. weird? Yeah, just like that's like. Uh, what if we got a? Oh, never mind. I was gonna say we do a video uh -huh. and do a little shot of me being inside there and closing it, and you're on the outside. Oh. <laughs> That'd be cool. Yeah. Uh, you know what that reminds me of? Is that door from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Oh, that one? Yeah, how he like appears from like... Oh, yeah. The one he comes out of? Yeah. <laughs> God, let's hope not. <laughs> but, so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Uh, I'll be posting more in a little bit. But, that's Miller Kite House. Ooh.